How's your day? Good. How's your day? Good. Yeah. yeah. How long are you? How, how many? How many interviews are you doing? Interviews today? Uh, About four hundred and twenty-five. You guys are my first. Movie. Yeah. Okay. All right. I wanted to be fresh. For it's going to be. Well, it's going to be great. Yeah. She even well, did her makeup I and did. everything. This Sorry, there wasn't anything more exciting for you. <laughs> I know. I really apologize. First time. But... No, no, we're excited. Okay. Just for today. So, what's up? Cheers. Well, what are you guys? Um, what is your your overarching goal with the with the show? Six thousand episodes. Six thousand episodes. Perfect. That's amazing. Yes. You guys have rehearsed that outside. Yeah. Like, right? No, that's we. Yeah, that's, I mean, no. The truth is, like we had said during the panel, and it, it sounds corny, but this show uh, has become a show that's family friendly. Um, for the mo I'd say for the most part, we try to avoid too much gunplay, too many naughty words. If there's romance going on, it's 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 a, it's a kiss and, and and not too graphic. So I think our goal with this show is to allow people to come home on a Monday at the start of a tough week and have some escapism in a in a hyper reality type of world. That's not I'm wrong. I don't know what he's talking. I, I, I yes. I don't know what show you're I don't know what you're talking about. No, that I mean this one. I think we've fallen into this very very interesting place with the show where it is there's a lot of humor to it. It's fun. It is escapist, but they're very you know these characters to us they they they, they fall into a very real a very real place. I mean they do a lot of crazy things, but that they are brilliant on one hand and on the other hand they're they're totally in it. I mean they're so bad. I mean you saw I don't know if you didn't see the episode today we were just watching this panel, but like Walter calling to ask a girl out on a date is just it's, it's, I could have watched it for two hours because he's so bad at it. Yet on the other hand, he stuck reminded him of him. many <laughs> moments of his youth. He was very and mine, perhaps. And I feel better now. <laughs> well, not to be alone, but it was like to see him, to see him be able to like to see him be so bad at that. But on the other hand, stop the tornado. That's fun. I mean, that's it's a. I think there's a there's people who have wonderful talents and something, but on the other hand, they're not so great. That I think is everything. So I like I, that's why I think we really love doing this. And I think we can show aspects of that over many, many years because that's a developing person and developing characters that we can all of them are like that. Now you said it's developing into a family show, so that wasn't the intent? Because I, I mean, I have a family. This is one of, one of my kids right here. What's up, pal? Um, yeah. And I've never felt uncomfortable watching it around no. them or allowing them to watch it. it. It's always, that's one of the things that really has kept me watching is the family element yeah. of these Random kind of strange people being brought together and, and creating that that family. It was it was meant to be an action comedy, which okay. I think it is. Um, the, the comedy aspect during the pilot process, I think, was the most challenging part to get everyone on board with. Um, CBS is an incredible company who has so much success in television, but their procedurals have have always worked in a certain way mm -hmm. and this show was a procedure with a lot of humor in it and once everyone saw that it worked we just we were, we were encouraged to keep going with the yeah, humor okay. and CBS just was so supportive of it after they saw oh my gosh this works keep going with it and once you get to have more fun I think by definition fun equals family family equals fun yeah. so it just became even more family friendly there are action comedies uh, like Midnight Run that I cannot watch with children yeah. um, or, or 48 Hours is an action comedy this is an action comedy that's just one I think you can watch with a, a you know a, 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 fourth, fifth, sixth grader I, I, I mean I do think that that's something that developed out of I mean when you first season of a show is like you, you don't really know what you have you really are start, you're trying a million things and you see what works and what doesn't work and once you start to get to know your cast and see you know where their heart is and they have this cast has so much heart and you can you can really play to that and play to their sweetness and play yeah. to their awkwardness and play to their you know how they they're striving their vulnerabilities their vulnerabilities and when you have that and they're very honest and very sort of sweet at their core that's what the show is and it's like when you deviate from that you feel we feel it you're like okay well that's an interesting idea but it just doesn't feel like what the show is so and we've learned that trial and error I mean that's trial and error so you see you know as you go on what 
where the show Sweet Spot it is, it really is in its heart and, and sort of being inclusive. Yeah, yeah, action comedy with, with a lot of heart. With a lot of heart. And I mean, that's, that's just kind of what it's falling into. And we we like writing it. Now you joked about six thousand episodes, but yes. did you? No. Uh, do you have like an end in mind? I have an end. I have in my mind, honestly, the last line of the series. Whenever that comes, oh, it doesn't come for a long time. But I've kind of, kind of thought about that for a while now, since season one, what that would be in the last scene and where it would end up. Um, just hope it's not for a while. We we work with very talented, great people. The writers are wonderful. Um, the production team is wonderful. The cast is wonderful. You don't get that a lot. Um, not in this business, just in any business. You could work in a dental office and the hygienist could be a jerk. Um, you don't know. Uh, always come at you with flaws. Yeah, just like, constantly. They floss till you and bleed. Like, what? I tried. And no one, you know, they yell at you. No, for not, and they give you those numbers like, oh, this is a four, then it's a three, yeah, it's and a you have dumb loss, and you don't want to hear that. <laughs> and and the truth is, is, is when you get to work with people that are just nice people, you don't want that to end. Um, so we're just hoping it goes for as long as the stories can stay fresh and CBS wants us. Can you talk a little bit about the romance? I know fans were really excited for Toby and Quinn. There's a lot of wage shippers. So how's like the timing with bringing all of these romantic couples together? Um, you know, we, we play a lot with this as the season goes on. And we, we sort of tease a lot of little moments and stuff as things go as things go forward. And you see, you know, where one, you know, where one relationship moves faster, another is sort of really kind of clunking along and finding its way, which is obviously Walter and Paige. Um, while Toby had sort of like, you know, he's moving on because he knows what he wants and this is who he is. And I know, you know, I, I read that stuff online. I watch people's reaction to it and they can get very frustrated with it, which I think we get it. And I think that what is important to understand is it's really true to Walter's character. If you saw him go from who he was in the pilot, which was so reserved and so in love, to all of a sudden having a, a romantic, you know, an unencumbered romantic relationship, it would not be true to who he is. Toby's incredibly compulsive, very fast, knows what he wants, moves towards him. So these things really move at the pace of, of the character development. So I know we I know we we infuriate infuriate some people, but it really goes towards you know what we see as a much longer term wall, six thousand episodes, where it's I mean, but it, where it really sort of is developing over what we see. It's three hundred seasons. Three hundred seasons. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a really yeah. long yeah. We're gonna get yeah. we're gonna get there. Don't worry, I, we got plans for this. It's and a we, lot of and we still wouldn't beat the, the gun smoke record. <laughs> we still would be gun. Bonanza. Oh, Bonanza, Gunsmith. Um, but it's, uh, but I mean, I think that that's that's how we sort of play these things. We look at them, uh, you know, on, on what speed that they're going. Uh, so we we keep all this. It's very much forefront because they are again, those relationships are the heart of the show, and they really keep you know, as many of the shows that Santora's worked on that I've worked on, what you remember about them, you know. 10, 12 years I worked on NYPD Blue. I couldn't tell you the case, but I could tell you what the emotional entanglements were. And that is what I think we're, what we want to leave people with. So in order to, pu- is it safe to assume, in order to push that along, that's why we have Scott Porter uh, brought onto the it's, show? It's, he's the fly in the ointment. Yeah. I mean, he's the great fly in the ointment. It's, it's one of those things where I think, you know, if you... If, you know, Walter moves at his own pace, and his pace is extremely slow. And because he, he's very, this is not where he's great. He's like what I was saying at the beginning. He's brilliant on one hand, but on the other hand, he's totally inept, and he's learning it. But he's, it's like he says, "I have no feelings," and I'm, you know, I'm without emotional you know, EQ. But we see that he has these aspirations, yeah. and in order to know what you're missing, I think you have to see it. You know, see it threat, and I think that that's what's that's what we're that's what we're doing is we're showing Walter, you know, what he could lose. Since you read the internet on the fan feedback, I am certainly there, exposed to. Is yeah. there something that I don't have any surprise? online accounts? <laughs> <laughs> I can barely use that anything but money. Or something that kind of you thought, oh, this is something they're really latching onto. Let's develop that. That maybe you didn't realize or think that would be something that would catch on. There was one nod that we gave once. Um, I don't. I guess saying I don't legitimately 
don't have a Twitter, don't have a Facebook, don't have a. I don't have any of that. I don't. I honestly know how to use my script writing software program, and that's it. Um, but people in the office had told me early on in the show's run that oh, they're calling Happy and Toby Quintus or Tappy, and there's a battle. Some people want to call it Tappy. Some people want to call it Quintus, and it just. That was it, and it's kind of stuck in the back of my head. And then when we were writing the episode where Toby announces his love for Happy, he uses the phrase Quintus. Mm. And when I had, I don't know, when I, I remembered it, and we put it in the script, and it was honestly because it worked in the script. But a bonus was that maybe the people who liked the terminologies would get a kick out of it. So it was kind of uh, a nod to it. I guess that kind of came out of Absolutely. online. And I, I would say story direction, not so much, because I think the reaction is, is there's, there, I mean, what's going on online is about two months behind us. So it's kind of already beyond what what they have the ability to react to, which is what they're seeing. People are reacting to episode 16. They're like, we're doing e episode 17 better happen. We're doing episode 22. And you're like, you we're, really we've already can. filmed 17, 18, 19. So you can't ever react or respond to anything anyway. The only thing I would say is, Patience will pay off. <laughs> you know, people get very, they get really, it's, which is, I think, great. Any connection, when they people connect, they really, it's something we pay attention to. But that those relationships, you know, they will, we, we keep them in mind as well. They're not, they're not the only ones. It's not like we don't need to be reminded, but we certainly, I like that people go into it. But we're, we, we got you. We're good. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of you. We promise. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.